Mabuhay Pilipinas! Hello buong mundo! Good day learners! Today is another opportunity for you to learn disciplines and ideas in the social sciences. I am Sir Greg, your humanities and social sciences teacher, and I will guide you in today's lesson. Are you ready? Be sure that you are in your most comfortable learning spot. Have a copy of your self-learning module, activity sheet, notebook, and pen for noting important details. In our previous lesson, you have understood the nature of social sciences, natural sciences, and humanities. Today, we will discuss and dwell deeper of the functions of social sciences alongside with that of natural sciences and humanities. You should always remember that social sciences, natural sciences, and humanities are considered intellectual disciplines which are to be given with great importance because of the truth they contain. These disciplines produce trained individuals who committed themselves with the arduous work in providing knowledge for those who are interested in it, venture themselves in researches and interpretation of results, for applicability of this knowledge in communities, society, and the world as a whole. The experts in the different disciplines perform their duties just to provide humanity with the techniques for handling phenomena to improve conditions of life and raise it to a more tolerable standard, especially that of the underprivileged and the poor. At this juncture, you have already the idea of the differences of the three intellectual disciplines of social sciences, natural sciences, and humanities. They are interdisciplinary that must work hand-in-hand -hand, intended to improve man's daily existence. In the development and progress of human knowledge, the social sciences were the last to develop after the natural sciences. While the origin of the social sciences can be traced back to the ancient Greek philosophers Socrates, Plato, and Aristotle, their development as separate fields of knowledge only began in the modern period. Before the birth of modern social sciences in the West, the study of society, culture, and politics were based on social and political philosophy. In return, social and political philosophies were informed by theological reasoning grounded in revelation based on the Bible. This was largely due to the dominance of religious worldview and authority during this time. These sciences are based on empirical data, tested theories, and carefully contrived observations. It seeks to discover truth about the specific causes of events and happenings in the natural world. It is inductive. It proceeds from observing particular cases and moves toward generalizing the properties common to these cases to other similar cases under the same specified condition. To further understand and appreciate the interdependence of the three disciplines, the functions and relevance of the social sciences, humanities, and natural sciences are provided. Let us start with the social sciences. Social scientists help imagine alternative futures. They help people to be more aware of the consequences of their actions and their future implications. They create awareness among people to make the right choices to attain a sustainable future. Social science can help make sense of finances. It helps our government to properly allocate their budget for the benefit of the people. It makes people financially literate to manage their finances. Social scientists contribute to health and well-being. Social scientists had made research-based studies to help people live a healthy lifestyle like making good choices of what they should eat maximize their full capacity as a person, and improved social health system so as many people can benefit from it. Social scientists as public intellectuals. 
give intellectual opinions and issues surrounding the country to make more vigilant and proactive citizens. They help people to better understand things and will lead them to make right decisions for their country. Social science can improve children's lives and education. Social scientists encourage educational institutions and curriculum developers to create curriculum for the grassroots level of education. They should listen to students, parents, and teachers' needs on what is really the problem and from there make programs on what's best for the children. Social science can change the world for the better. Social scientists are working in interdisciplinary teams to provide welfare and development among the marginalized people and communities for the improvement of their lives. Social science can broaden horizons. It helps people become more aware and involved in social issues that surrounds them. And it also helps people become more culturally sensitive to the culture of others and help promote equality among gender and race. And social science helps guarantee democracy. It offers multiple perspectives in the society, helps create social policies and make media more accountable of the information that they share with people. For the humanities, we have insights. People learn how to think creatively and critically in giving reasons and in asking questions. In doing so, they gain insights into everything from songs, poems, paintings, to politics and business. Understanding the world. Researches in human experiences adds to our knowledge about the world. Humanity scholars see the value of varied cultures. Their work preserves the past making us understand the world we live in now. It equips us with tools to infer what tomorrow will and should be. And clarifies the future. Knowledge and humanities provide the ideal foundation for exploring and understanding human experiences. Philosophy gets us thinking about ethical questions. Languages help us appreciate similarities in different cultures. Reflecting on work of arts like sculpture and paintings make us think of the artist's life that results to masterpieces. Reading books featuring other regions of the world help us think about democracy and its meaning. Studying history help us understand the past and have a glimpse of the future. And for the natural sciences, promotes critical thinking. Natural scientists uses data from experiments and observation before making conclusions. Their goal is to give some order to the natural world. Thus, they follow scientific steps from making hypotheses and relating theories to real life. This makes them to be critical thinkers. Develops analytical and organizational skills. Constant engagement in scientific studies, use of existing theories to solve problems, and come up with inventions. It makes natural scientists excellent in analytical skills. Natural scientists has innate organizational skill. They prepare well-organized reports and literatures. They manage their time well and complete well-researched projects on time and helps understand the natural world. Natural scientists' object of the study are the natural phenomena in the natural world. They develop in-depth understanding of Mother Nature and solve existing problem by coming up with inventions as a response. In this lesson, you have learned that social sciences, natural sciences, and humanities are considered intellectual disciplines which are to be given with great importance because of the truth they contain. The experts in different disciplines perform their duties just to provide humanity with the techniques for handling phenomena to improve conditions of life and raise it to a more tolerable standard, especially that of the underprivileged and the poor.
The origin of the social sciences can be traced back to the time of ancient Greek philosophers Socrates, Plato, and Aristotle, but their development as separate fields of knowledge only began in the modern period. And social sciences, natural sciences, and humanities are interdependent with each other. They also exhibited important functions and relevance that reshaped humanity. Before we end, challenge yourself by answering the checkpoint activity. Read the questions carefully and choose the letter of the correct answer. Item number 1. Which of the following is not a function of social sciences? A. Can broaden horizons. B. Can change the world for the better. C. Helps imagine alternative futures. D. Helps understand the natural world. Can you write down your answer? Item number 2. Which of the following shows social scientists as public intellectuals. A. Create awareness among people to make the right choices to attain a sustainable future. B. Helps people become more aware and involved in social issues that surrounds them. C. Helps people to better understand things and will lead them to make right decisions for their country. D. Makes people financially literate to manage their finances. Kindly write down your answer. Let us continue with item number 3. Sciences are based on the following except A. Contrive observations B. Empirical data C. Tested theories D. Varied assumptions Kindly write down your answer. Item number 4. Which is not true about the historical background of the growth of social sciences? A. Before the birth of modern social sciences in the West, the study of society, culture, and politics were based on social and political philosophy. B. In the development and progress of human knowledge, the social sciences were the last to develop after the natural sciences. C. The social and political philosophies were informed by theological reasoning grounded in revelation based on the researches. D. While the origin of the social sciences can be traced back during the time of great philosophers Socrates, Plato, and Aristotle, their development as separate fields of knowledge only began in the modern period. Can you write down your answer? And finally, item number 5. It is where social sciences originated. A. China B. Greece C. India D. Rome Kindly write down your answer. Here are the answers. Item number 1, D. Item number 2, C. Item number 3, D. Item number 4, C. And item number 5, B. Good job, learners! That concludes our lesson. I hope you have learned something and remembered all the important details of our lesson. If ever you forget, you may watch this video again until you master it. Please be reminded to accomplish all the remaining tasks in your self-learning module and in your activity sheet. Keep safe and see you in our next learning session.